Y'all, we got a full intro on the way, but uh, the boat ramp is under siege right now, man. The water has risen, and we are on a little island of a boat ramp. This is too funny. I'm down here in Austin with my buddy Justin. Uh, let's back this thing in the water. You ain't never seen it done like that before. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Justin to walk on back uh, barefoot, and we are going to get out here, man. And it's kind of ripping today. This is cool. Water is real clear. This ain't nothing like what I'm used to fishing, that's for sure. So uh, it's going to be an interesting day. Boat, boat started to drift, but Thanks, don't worry, buddy. I got her. <laughs> Making it happen. All right then. No choice. We are here. All right, y'all. We're gonna hit you with the official intro. I'm down here fishing Lake Travis. That's this lake, right? <laughs> With my boy Justin Royal. Man, we used to do moto vlogs. It's so funny. We might be some of the only people who uh, have transitioned from moto vlogging to fishing vlogs. It's two. He says we might be the only two, and he's gonna hit you with his half of the story on his side too. I just think it's funny. I, Devin and I, we used to do videos on our little Honda Groms and our couple Ducatis we had. Uh, you know, we weren't really stunt life. I, I was not about it. I did some like clutch wheelies and whatnot, but I was no professional. So, anyways, we're about ready to do some fishing out here. Look at this little cut we found. A spot where the wind's not affecting us too much. A little cove back here. It could be real nice. The water has moved up, which means more grass is now underwater, which means more bugs and food for these fish is in here. And I think they're going to be right where we want them to be. We're going to cast a line in here, see what happens. We're about to get you guys on the GoPro right here and catch some fish. All right. Do it. I have one on as well. I don't want to beat you at your own game. <laughs> I'm just going to throw the little search bait, the little scam bait, the little rip knocker. One's chasing. Hey, stop. Chill. Slower. 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 Pop it. Pop it. Stop. 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 Oh my god. <gasps> what? There's two different species. Oh, you see two fish. Yeah, the three now, but yeah, that's a bass right here. Oh, I see the bass now. See, pop. Right. He was, he was, he, but that other one was first though. Yeah. We're about to hit another little spot. We just whipped over to spot number two. Okay, watch this. Look, I'm telling you. Watch watch the flute. It stays on the surface. Okay, there. Well, now I'm trying to show you and then it's good. What is this? It's a Z-Man. Z-Man, okay, so yeah. Is oh. that the problem? <laughs> uh, it, I think it might be the weight. Maybe it just doesn't sink. See? Look at it just chilling. Oh, you got a floating flute. Is that the deal? Yeah, so, so salty super fluke means it sinks. This doesn't have salt in it. That's your problem. There you go. Is that the deal? Ding! Light bulb. So should I borrow no one salt. of yours? Yeah, bro. And what do you like? That and one right the, there, the speckle? These, these two are the juice. The purple? I should throw the purple, dude. We're trying something new for y'all today. Justin's hooking it up, guys. We going with the perp. The perpetrator right here. We're gonna see if this thing will will hook up. Yeah, they feel different right off the bat. This this is this is different. I like this. I feel like it's gonna be easier to re-rig after I catch a fish and it messes it all up because that's my problem with that goofy Elaztec. Oh, bro, night and day. Now this is cool. So which one is this? This is the. Oh oh, I had a chaser. God dang, I had. I did. I did. Oh, he's. He, I swear to God, he just. I swear to God, he's under the boat. Peacing out of there, y'all. Making a move to spot number three. I think. Uh, oh, that's my bad. There might be one right here. That's exactly where I wanted to be. Here, I'll... Quick look at this spot before we roll out of here, you guys. Everything looks so basilicious. They just ain't hitting it right now. So we're gonna move on to another one. We just gotta find the bite. Spot number three was a little tricky as well, you guys. We are throwing the T-Rigs out here at these docks. No dice on that either, so we are making a run to the other side of this place. See what happens, fishing some of these submerged trees, trying to find some clearer water. I've never fished this spot before, but everything about it today is different than the previous days. You guys must have just had a yeah, downpour. Yeah, we just had a big storm uh, two nights ago. Okay. And the water has, 
has come up like two feet, three feet. As you can see at the boat ramp earlier, I mean, yeah. everything was underwater. We had to park the truck up in the field and then walk back to the boat ramp through the water. It was uh, pretty crazy. I wasn't expecting it to be so different when we, once we got out here today, but I think that's what's got these fish messed up, man. Kind of whack, but it's all good, man. We're going to have some fun and try and get some at this most likely last spot. We got about another 45 minutes on the water. We're going to put this one together, fish or not. Got him. Yes. Uh, Skunks out the boat, baby. First ever Lake Travis bass. Y'all first one of the day and once you know it's at the last spot we're trying it over here the water is clear super calm We're seeing big carp like five pound at least carp man just cruising below the surface We've had a couple chasers, but uh, your boy is the first one who actually latched on to the Lavender flute check this thing out. Oh my gosh, and he hooked me up with some salted flukes He being Justin hooked me up with some uh, salted flukes I guess so they actually sink a little bit better than mine lavender fluke man two out worm hook is all I'm doing It's weightless, but it's actually sinking below the surface So it's getting me right where I need to be to catch these guys. Let's get them back in the water Oh, well you didn't swim off Oh, what is he doing? <gasps> Putting on a show for the channel might be the only fish of the day. Some of the ponds are gonna have clear water. Ow, shit! But the lakes, man. Mm -mm. Let's see if I can re-rig this easier than my other ones because that's the the tricky part with these flukes for me, man. Is just getting the hook back in here. Oh, this is this works much better than the Laztec stuff. I gotta give me some of these right here. So much different than those ones I've been throwing, and yet it's still it's still like as indestructible as those ones I normally use. Nothing got torn up whatsoever, but it seems to uh, move through the hook a lot easier. Or the hook seems to move through it a lot easier. So that's just all pros. Oh, there he is. Oh, damn. Got one. Yes. Yes. Got him. Yeah. Oh, oh no. That was maybe a pound and a half to two. I'm gonna go with two. Right over that tree. Yeah, right over the tree. Get back here. I'm telling you. Man, I had him pinned. He did. He was. One little head shake. Weird. It's okay. And I was just like, two pops, let it sit. I'm just kind of chilling. Boom! Two days ago, we, we, we came out and got 15. Did yeah. all right, but today is just it's tough, man. We got out here late and all this traffic. And Justin's on his way back to the truck, man. We're closing today's vlog out. Had a blast. Got to get out on the Skeeter for the first time. We are super appreciative. Definitely check out his channel. I'm gonna link it right at the top of the description. He just hit 6K and uh, he's doing big things over here. We only put one fish in the boat. It wasn't a massive success, but I definitely had a ton of fun fishing a place I had never been to. You guys are curious about the gear we're using. It's right down there. We're shooting uh, 4K at 24 frames a second on the GoPro Hero 6 today. We got the Plano fishing backpack to hold all the tackle. Here comes our ride right now. Special thanks to the homie. Man, for sure. Thank you so much for coming to Fishing Week, man. I had a blast. I wish we could have caught more fish, but sometimes it is what it is. You can't make them bite. I had a good time, man. Thank you. Me too, dude. We had, we had uh, less than ideal conditions, but we still made it happen. We got a catch for you guys. I'm pumped. So we'll catch you on the next one and probably a few more fish too. Peace. <gasps>